Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of this My Passport uh, Western Digital 2TB hard drive. Uh, so first off, I was actually really surprised by the size. Uh, in other videos uh, that you see, it seems kind of um, big compared to when you actually like get it, and it's also pretty heavy. Um, so yeah, the other nice thing about it it has these rubber feet uh, so if you set it down it's not gonna like fall off the table uh, which is not like a solid state drive like a lot of the drives are nowadays it's still got the the wheel inside that spins and the little thing um, so you don't want to you don't want to drop it because that could break it um, so yeah uh, it has a weird kind of pr uh, connector on the back that um, I I would have rathered if it was just a standard uh, micro USB or something. Because if that goes wrong, uh, I don't know what I'd do. Um, it's probably covered by their warranty in the first however long, but um, eventually that could be an issue. But it's not too big of an issue. Um, it's it's amazingly fast. Like my computer, this hard drive plugged in. Um, with USB, it's like uh, pretty much the same speed as my uh, computer, so I could run my operating system on this outside of my computer, and it would still be just as fast. That's how like fast USB 3 is, uh, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. Um, and then it's got this cool kind of pattern. There's not really much to a hard drive. Um, I I use it with uh, Apple's backup software, uh, Time Machine. So it just kind of uh, adds to my backup every week. Um, it's a good idea probably not to store your backup drive right by your computer. Just in case, you know, something happens uh, to your computer, then your hard drive shouldn't get affected with all your files. Uh, so that's why I got it, so I could back up my computer. So let's have a look and see how fast it is. Okay, so now I'm going to test uh, the speed of this hard drive. So um, I'm going to pull up Blackmagic. Uh, speed test. Now keep in mind the results will be altered uh, because I'm doing this recording right now. Um, I don't know how much but I'll tell you what it does when I'm not recording. It might not do that much of a difference because uh, I think it's right into my RAM right now. So let's select the target drive. So you have to click away from the drive before you can select it kind of weird. My passport, choose. Okay, so now let's start the test. So it's doing pretty good, getting about almost a hundred. A hundred done read. It was actually getting about a um, hundred and six. Uh, last time I tried it, and that's when I wasn't um, wasn't running screen recording, so it makes a bit of a difference. Um, and this is after it's uh, been used for a while, and it already has like 500 gigabytes on it, so I'd say that's really good. Um, it hasn't really lost any performance over the time. It's like with my Mac, it kind of it's not quite as fast to hard drive as when I got it. Probably just I've loaded stuff on it, uh, but this is still really fast. Actually, I think it's because my Mac is running an operating system. And this is not. That'll be why. But, but yeah, it's uh, really great speed. So, like I said, you know, uh, that's the same speed as I get out of my internal drive on here. See, so you could run a, um, you could run a computer on this external drive. Uh, so you could almost like upgrade your computer storage for a pretty good price. I think um, it is its reasonable speeds. But um, yeah, that's about it for now. That's been my review of the Western Digital My Passport 2TB hard drive. I will see you all in the next video.